All Too Well by Taylor Swift on ukulele could sound like this. But we're going to take you step by step through the tabs, the introduction, the chord tabs and that. So please make sure you've got a copy of the PDF. If you need a copy, just drop me a WhatsApp or inbox me. I'll be happy to send it through to you. And let's just go through the chords first. That's a really nice song for um, someone that's new to ukulele. Chords being C, which you can use finger one, two or three. We're not too fussy with that. Maybe three is not a bad idea because it jumps to the G easier. But I'm pretty happy either way. G chord. First fingers on the third string from the bottom, middle finger number two, right at the bottom, and then ring finger goes up to the third fret of the second string. That's your G. A minor, you can use middle finger like that, right on top. That's it. Or your first finger, again, not that worried, but I prefer the middle finger because when you transition and change to the F, which comes up next, all we do is bring in one finger. So one more time, there's your C. There's your G, your A minor, and F. Now the strumming pattern is super easy. It's just a really good feel-good song. You're simply strumming down the whole way through. So this is the simplified version. extra you can do which I'm convinced Taylor Swift does do um, at various places as well where she adds a sort of a double strum she does something like this and I quite like it it just sort of lifts up the rhythm a little bit but before we go further I want to change the angle of the ukulele of the camera to the yuki because I'd like to see from this angle how the strumming goes I'm not going to use a pick for this but you may use a pick if you like I'm strumming with my first finger so slow motion there's my C chord you can see in the top corner here and I'm strumming down 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 so it's a very small hand movement largely finger movement but it's a little bit of hand and wrist as well but you can see the first finger going across the strings there on the counting of it you're simply counting one and two and three and four and in other words one full bar of four counts one and two and three and four then you change one and two and three and four and if you want to get a little double that that over there you can see it's really quick that's going to be at the end just before you transition just before you go across to the g so here we go slow motion one and two and three and four and it's almost you could almost not see that little switch there but it's a very fast flick like that now also on the song there's going to be a cool picking place the picking part is going to sound something like this and the tab is on the pdf as well it's got the intro riff which plays through twice but it also says play through twice but ignore the blue notes the second time round. so the first time you go it's going to be three, all starting on the bottom string. You need to jump up, seven, five. And you'll notice this ukulele's got little marks there. There's a dot there and there's a dot there. Those dots are there to help me know that that's my fifth fret and that's my seventh fret, tenth fret, and then the twelfth fret. So if you don't have the dots, maybe just get a little bit of tippet, which you can take for quite easily and mark it for number five and seven. This is going to help you get to the fret numbers quicker. Okay. So from the top again, it's 5, 2, and 3, 7, 5. Then they in pairs, and it goes 7, 3. And then there's a big jump from 7 all the way to 1. And you can hear there's a bit of a slider putting in there. Now what I do is, when I play the 7, I sort of slide back, so my first finger is opposite the first fret. So I don't go, that just sounds a bit cold, and it loses a bit of the flow, it loses... It's a bit hard so if you want to put the slide that's pretty sweet once you've done that just before she restarts the riff she goes 
And those are the two threes, the blue notes in the far corner that we spoke about. And then you play the whole thing through again. Okay. So you take the whole way through now, both times in a row. One, two, three, four, and... And then she starts singing. Now, halfway through the song, run about, I think it's 43, 44 seconds, somewhere around there, um, there's a, a solo riff, which goes something like this. It goes, starts the same, and 7-3 again, and then it goes, one, and you're going to see the two threes on the second string, onto the first string at the end. But you'll hear it quite easily on the song. It's quite cool, works quite well. Now to finish off, I'm going to add a few little extra parts, which if you listen carefully, you can hear there's a second guitar in the background, and that adds a little bit of extra. So when we go, for example, from C to G, you hear that change there? And all I'm doing is lifting up the ring finger before I change to the G, so. That sounds quite cool. On the G, watch my pinky. there is I'm putting the pinky onto the first string third fret then I lift it off then I lift the middle finger and then I transition onto the A minor the A minor I can go and I can put my pinky on the second string or the first string whichever I feel like doing and then I change to F and that sounds quite cool There's little things like that that you can add in that don't really distract from the song and they sound quite cool. So your new, slightly busier version maybe, which you can introduce halfway through the song if you want to lift the dynamics, could sound something like this. things that you can introduce as a little bit of an extra as well but in short the song is super easy it's really cool to play and you've got a nice picking pattern so i'm hoping it's something nice to just fill the time i put during the studies it's exam time over here by us and i uh, hope you have an awesome day and i hope you enjoy the video take care